It's hurricane season, and in early June, legendary meteorologist John Morales told viewers in South Florida that they may get less reliable forecasts this year because of staffing cuts at the National Weather Service. There's been a nearly 20% reduction in weather balloon releases, launches, that carry those radio sounds. And what we're starting to see is that the quality of the forecasts is becoming degraded. There's also a chance, because of some of these cuts, that NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft will not be able to fly this year. And with less reconnaissance missions, we may be flying blind. The National Weather Service lost hundreds of positions to the Trump administration's efforts to shrink the federal workforce. The agency now says it's filling some of those positions and trying to stabilize operations. But the administration has also proposed a cut to the larger National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's budget of more than 25 percent. And recently, five former directors of the National Weather Service wrote an open letter condemning the cuts. Uh, the alarm bells are running that, um, you know, Despite the, the incredible commitment of the people in the Weather Service uh, and, and the rest of NOAA, that um, things could go wrong. And, um, and that's why uh, we, uh, past five directors of the National Weather Service, uh, wrote that letter. It seems the Trump administration itself has acknowledged maybe it went too far in, in firing workers. Now it's been rehiring some or at least filling some positions that were cut. Um, do you sense that the service has been restored um, adequately in preparation of, of what's coming this, you know, severe weather season? So, you know, that's a step in the right direction, uh, clearly. Um, but uh, we still have gaps. There are offices that are close to or have been part-time. And I, I know there's a focus on hurricanes, as they rightfully should be, but I have to emphasize, we're also in a severe weather season. We're also in a fire weather year. We don't have fire weather seasons anymore. I would look at Los Angeles. That's a, a catastrophic fire that happened in January. So forecast offices have to be prepared for multiple events. For now, Uccellini says weather stations are going above and beyond to try to fill the gaps. Uh, we saw the example several weeks ago um, in eastern Kentucky. The office was down to seven people. They were sleeping in that office. So they wouldn't miss a beat. But that's not the situation you want um, uh, people in when they got to make very difficult decisions. In a statement shared with Marketplace, NOAA said, quote, the National Weather Service continues to meet its core missions amid recent reorganization efforts and is taking steps to prioritize critical research and services that keep the American public safe and informed.